And shortly after the press conference, our newsroom started getting calls and we started calling city, state and county leaders as well for their response to the sheriff's claims. We'll bring you what we heard here in a short time. One of those uh, that Knezovich called out though today specifically was Julie Garcia with Jules Helping Hands. Ms. Garcia has held this community hostage for the last nine months. Ms. Garcia thinks that this, thinks that this is some kind of uh, game. So Creme 2's Cody Proctor just spoke with Julie Garcia. Cody's joining us now live from that camp along I-90. Cody. Well, Whitney, when I spoke with Garcia, she says she didn't watch the sheriff's press conference, but she did hear about it. And she says some of the comments he made are ridiculous. Now, as you just heard, some of those comments the sheriff made about Garcia include that she's been holding the community hostage for the last nine months. Another comment he also had was that they're investigating Garcia for fraud without offering any evidence. Now, when I spoke to Garcia about that investigation, she said in response that there's no fraud and quote, come and investigate us. Garcia says she invites Sheriff Knezovich to visit the camp. The city's not hostage. The city needs to take care of its citizens. And because they are failing to do so, I am doing so in the interim. Um, Jules Helping Hands does not receive city, state, federal, any kind of funding in any way. So we welcome any investigation that he would like to come forward and have. And my response to Ozzy is, if you've never been to the camp, come see it. How would you know that these folks are not from Spokane if you've never actually talked with them? And as for what happens now, Garcia says it'll be business as usual for them. This coming Friday, they actually plan to put up a fence around the camp with a single access point in and out and security. She says they've actually been moving stuff and items out of the out of the camp today to make room for that fence. Live in Spokane, Cody Proctor, Creme 2 News.